Everybody deserves a chance at our community to succeed. Every child deserves to have a parent that loves them and can be with them. This, this life in this world is hard enough. Let's not have a system that makes it harder for children and their families. Knowing that there's these organizations that, you know, are in our community, that are local, and there's real people attached to them that care um, about their kids and can provide, you know, education and support. If we have a strong support system and safety net underneath, then we're more likely to have better results in the long run. When parents are incarcerated and they have children, the unintended consequences to those kids um, are often unknown to us. And so this program really does a great job of taking away the stigma, helping community members support children and youth. But we have people that work all throughout different jobs in the counties, people that are advocates, people that work at Northwest Family Services and other like um, organizations that just support these kids out in the real world. The people who are dedicated to those kinds of opportunities for people who are in need and have services are actually a part of this program, which I think is incredibly remarkable. It takes one positive adult to make a difference in a child's life and help them choose a different path that they may not otherwise have chosen had they not had the support. And so what the mentoring program in particular does for kids is it allows them to know that they have an adult who is there supporting, advocating, really no matter what. That is a positive determinant for their future positive choices in life as well. They do a lot, like they'll help you, the older you get, the more they'll get into like, help you financing things, and they'll help you navigate resumes, jobs. They're very supportive and they're very positive. Not only are they like the SIP program that just go on outings, but like they're your mentor. They're gonna mentor you through the hard times and be there. Working with schools in the area, I know some people on our committee have a great relationship with Karis Elementary, and they put on a group called the Big Challenges Group. Hey everyone, my name is Miranda and I work for an organization called Northwest Family Services. I run a group called Big Challenges. It's group, open for any student at our school um, for if they have been impacted by a family member, a parent, or someone that they love who um, is currently incarcerated or maybe has been incarcerated. We just want to provide them extra support and just give them a safe place to, you know, work through some of the emotions that come along with that. It's a good way to process, like, what does this mean for me and how can I learn from other people's mistakes? Getting people to understand who and what these children are about and what they need and then taking that need to the next level and being able to connect them with the great things we have in Clackamas County that are resources for children and families. So if I can connect them directly to the right services, if I can make a referral for them, whether it is wraparound services, um, whether it is, you know, Clackamas County Behavioral Health, the crisis line, um, perhaps just a food bank, whatever services I can connect them with that can make their life a little easy. Really, time, patience, um, transparencies, advocacy, those are all ways in which we help um, the kids and the family. Kids who have incarcerated parents, that I've seen go through like, am I gonna end up like them? I can't do anything in life because my dad or my mom's in prison. My other's mom or dad is losing it. They're not taking care of me. They don't know what they're doing. I do think it's nice for people to intervene and be there for them when their parents can't be there for them. They help prep people that as they are released back into you know, the mainstream of society, how to be good parents, how not to you know fall back on 
uh, you know, into a, into a bad state, how to maintain family stability. What this program is doing is just setting the children and their parents and their support system up for hopefully taking away as many barriers as we can to their success. My personal framework is redemption and forgiveness and moving forward and helping people is core to this community and who we are and we need a lot more of it and this is a real uh, beacon of light that provides that.